Demand for electric vehicles is skyrocketing, especially after a new federal law offering a big tax credit. But if you don't do your research, you could miss out on that tax break. Michael George explains. Going green may save some green. Under a new federal law, buying a plug-in hybrid or fully electric vehicle could earn you a tax credit up to $7,500, but not so fast. Those qualifications depend on the car, they depend on the buyer's income, uh, they depend on where the car is made and where even some of the parts of the car were made. Keith Berry with Consumer Reports says the tax break rules can be confusing. So Keith, we've got six electric vehicles here. Which of these qualify for the tax credit? Well, let's see. This one here, not made in North America, so it doesn't qualify. This one, it might in 2023. We're still waiting to find out. This one here, too expensive, doesn't qualify. This one, again, might in 2023. We don't know yet. This one's way too expensive. And that one down there, not made in North America. So right now, none of them qualify. At the Consumer Reports test track in Colchester, Connecticut, we took a ride in Hyundai's all-electric Ionic 5 with engineer Alex Nizek. And it also drives really well. The handling is really good. Yeah, I can feel it right now. It's really smooth on these turns. That's right. But this car also won't earn you a tax break. The federal government put out a list of vehicles that may qualify, including the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee plug-in hybrid and the 2022 Ford Mustang Mach-E. But the rules could change before the credit takes effect next year. So if you're on the fence... I'd postpone my buying decisions until I found out whether it actually did qualify or not. Experts also say the tax break shouldn't be the only factor if you're in the market for an EV. Michael George, CBS News, Colchester, Connecticut.